Welcome back YouTube. Today we have another awesome video in store for you. What we're doing is we are rebuilding a portable water tanker that we use at the farm. The water tanker is made up of a few components. The trailer itself is a 1950s or 60s truck rear end converted into a trailer. I did not do the conversion myself. I got it from a man named Cotton who lived in Alabama and only wanted $100. Once I had the trailer, I built a wood platform and put a 275 gallon water tote on it and a Harbor Freight trash pump to use to shoot the water. I originally made this about five years ago. I didn't use any pressure treated lumber and I just wanted to build it well enough to get it to Tennessee. Once we got it there, we just kept using it because it worked out, but over time the board started to rot. So it's time to take it apart and make it better. With this rebuild, we'll be designing an entirely new platform that is hopefully simpler and holds up better over time. We also lower the water tank to help get that center of gravity down to make it more stable. All right, and now it's time to dive in. For the first step, we need to take it all apart. Can I hit it first try? I can! <laughs> oh, that's definitely not in the shot. Like, it's in the shop, but you are not in the shop. Removing the water tank from the cage is very simple. There's just four screws that hold two horizontal bars across the top. After those are removed, you can simply flip it upside down and pull the cage off. The reason we're removing the water tank from its cage is so we can paint the sides and top. During the summer, sunlight gets into the tank and algae grows, which ends up clogging our discharge system and the hose. By reducing the amount of sunlight getting into the tank, that algae will grow less fast and we should have less buildup over time. We painted the top black to absorb as much sunlight as possible, but went with a fun camo pattern on the sides. We also put three strips of duct tape vertically on all four sides, so once it is dry, we can peel those and have a water level marker on the side of the tank. Now that we're done painting, it's time to get on to game planning reassembly. What we ended up doing was removing the pallet portion from the wire frame to help lower the center of gravity on the trailer. With this design, we will only need three sets of horizontal 2x6s, one in the front, back, and middle to help distribute the weight across the trailer. We also need to rebuild the platform that the pump rides on itself. Luckily, the 2x4 that was already bolted on and a brand new 2x6 is the width of the pump base and we just need to bolt those down to have a new pump platform. The way we are mounting these boards to the frame is we are just drilling holes vertically through the board and the frame itself and then putting in a carriage bolt from the top. Because we have the front and back boards bolted down, the middle board will actually float and just be attached to them and not bolted to the trailer itself. Once we get these all bolted down and secured, the next step will be to attach the water tank to the trailer. We are wrapping up attaching the water tank frame to the trailer. We use the existing holes in the frame for the pallet mount to screw it down to the wood we attach to the trailer. We also added 2x4s as horizontal runners to help with left right stability when on cross slopes. Next we are going to put the tank back in the cage and strap the frame down to the trailer. Yes, we did add screws to the bottom of the frame, but we have some pretty steep slopes here in Tennessee that we tow this up and down, so we add additional straps to make sure it's extra secure. Go up.
After the rain delay, we're on to installing the pump to the trailer. What we use is this large rubber grommet that is hose clamped and goes to a PVC adapter. We then reduce down to a one inch PVC and thread that into the pump's intake slot. This works fantastic with our one inch four cycle Harbor Freight pump. And from the pump, we use two 25 foot Harbor Freight one inch PVC hoses. The original intent behind building this was so I could be able to drive around and water my dirt bike track. Because we have hills in elevation, it's not always an easy thing, but with it being portable and behind the tractor, I can take it anywhere. It also turns out to be great for burning brush piles and just having general water on hand when you need it. Thanks for tuning in to another video. All that's left is watching this in action.